Welcome to this first instructional video for the uh, Casa Gaspar building drawing exercise. Now we start off by uh, setting our ortho mode to on, so we draw orthogonally, and setting our object snaps. We'll turn the button on, then right click it, go to settings, and I'll pull this into view. Now we only need a couple on here, so I'm going to take off those two, leaving it with endpoint and midpoint, and OK. Now we don't know how much working space we've got here, but that's OK. We'll just draw a line, and then we'll see how, how much work space it takes up. So I'm going to use the, the keyboard to enter the commands, and start off with the letter L for line, and return. I'm going to start the line at 0, 0 and return. Okay, now the distance for this line is going to be 18,000 millimeters. Okay, it's gone off the edge of the screen, that's okay. Press return to stop the command, and then you're on your middle mouse button, on the rolling button, you can do some basic zooming in and out type commands. So if you double click the button, it does what's called a zoom extents, fills the screen with everything you've drawn so far. If you roll it back a couple of clicks, we can reveal a bit more screen. We're stepping backwards. Okay, let's carry on with this simple shape. So it's line again. Press return twice and it should pick up on where the line left off. So just drag it upwards and set in my distance again 18,000. Across to the to the left now, 18,000 again, and then I can come down to the bottom, I could type in 18,000 again, or I could let the object snaps find the end of the line. If I do that, I use the left mouse button, which is the select button, to pick that end point. Then press return to stop the command. Now, how do I want to delete these objects, I just need to show you how you select things on the screen. Now we can do what's called implied windowing by just picking without a command active and just pick and drag. Okay, Going from left to right creates a soft window where only the complete object will get selected and that's the line at the bottom of the screen. Compare that to an uh, implied window going the other direction so that's right to left you get a green rectangle this time with a dashed line around the outside and this is a crossing window. Anything that's inside or gets touched by the crossing window will be selected. I can then add to that selection with a single click. Holding the shift key allows me to take things away in exactly the same manner. I was holding the shift key while I was doing those selections. But actually, I want to delete all this stuff just now, so I'm going to click them and then press the delete key on the keyboard. Right. You can't basically draw everything on layer 0. Everything will be it'll all be just mushed in on the same layer. We need to create a new layer to work with. So if you go to the layers dialog, it takes a few seconds for this to appear. Okay, it's just off the screen. I'll bring it on into view. Okay, now it's a bit of a big dialog box. I'm capturing this screen grab at 800 by 600, so I'm a bit short for space here. Right, I want a new layer, and I'm going to call it Walls. I want it to be the current layer, so everything I draw from here on is on that layer. It's on, it's not frozen, it's not locked, but it's got the same color as zero. It just picks up on the properties of the previous layer. So I'm going to change that to the magenta, because our CTB file, the pen settings file, will change magenta lines into a thick line. Click OK. The line type is continuous. That's all we need to concern ourselves with just now. So I'll close that window. 
and you'll see now that on my layers drop down I've got more than one light layer available if I wish to use it. Okay, slightly different way of creating the shape this time. Use line again. We'll start at 0, 0, again. But this time I'm going to set a distance and an angle. So the at symbol tells the computer to expect a distance. The less than symbol tells it to expect an angle. This direction is 0 this direction is 90. So let's go op the opposite direction. Let's go 90. Okay, so it doesn't matter where my cursor is sitting now, this bit of text will overrule the cursor. Okay, you can see the lines created. Let's carry on with that. So 18,000 less than symbol and to the, to the right in AutoCAD is bearing of 0. I want to go downwards now, so it's at 18,000 bearing minus 90. I could have used 270 there as well, it would give me the same direction. And then because I'm coming back to the start, I could use this option, the letter C for close. All you have to type in is the, the letter that is, that is capitalised. So it's C and return. And the shape is finished and the line command stops automatically. I'm going to take two of these away. So pick two lines and delete. Then I'm going to shorten this line. So I've just picked it and this reveals what are called the grips. I click the top grip, goes red, get my cursor slightly away from the line so it doesn't accidentally pick up an endpoint, drag downwards and pick again. Do the same with the horizontal line, we just pick it, get the grip, move to the left keep away from the other lines and select. Press escape to clear away the grips. If you want the UCS icon, which is this feature, to get out of the way, just type UCS ICON and return and then the letter N for no origin and it will just go away into the bottom corner of the screen. We'll use the the offset method of drawing now, which is basically how you would actually design a building. So the command offset shortens to the letter O. Then it's asking me on the command prompt, what gap do I want between the lines? And this is where our 18,000 comes back in. So 18,000, return, pick vertical line, decide on direction, keep away from any other line, and select again. Do the same with the horizontal line. Just pick it, decide which side you want to copy it on, and pick again. Press escape to stop the offset command because it's a bit sticky. And then we want to join these together. The quickest way is to use the fillet command which creates corners. So that shortens to the letter F, so F return and we pick two lines to create the corner. One, two. Don't pick parallel lines, it will join them with a curve. Pick one, pick two. Press and return in between to bring back the command. Pick one, pick two. And that's it healed. Now there is a fourth method of creating that shape which would be very quick and that is to use the rectangle command but that's a bit of a cheat. I want you to be able to practice this filleting. So we're going to bring these inwards now by the width of the external walls. And that is offset again, so it's O, return, 300, return, pick the line, come well inside, pick line, come inside, pick, 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 pick. Fillet expects you to uh, sorry offset expects you to carry on. It's as if you were drawing a staircase. You'd be offsetting, offsetting, offsetting. So an escape key will cancel that, and then we fill it to tidy up the corners. So it's F return, pick, pick, return. Remember your spacebar operates as a return key in AutoCAD. 
you need to return in between each operation to get the command to come back okay that's the main outside walls we've now got to set up the division walls the main the kind of primary division walls we use offset again to, to, to do this so let's do the vertical ones first so o return 5700 return take the line go to the left and pick again take this line sorry this time is going to the left and pick again return twice to get back to the position where you can change the offset distance this wall's a bit thicker because it's an insulating one so it has an offset distance of 450 return pick line go right pick line go left return twice to change the offset distance and let's go to 3900 this time return pick lower go up pick upper go down return twice change the offset distance to 300 and return take upper go down take lower go up now it's starting to take shape but it needs a bit of tidying up We've got this kind of tartan pattern press escape to get rid of the offset command and we want to zoom in on a specific area rolling the mouse wheel is a bit inaccurate for this so you best to use a zoom window so Z return W return and then I define an area on the screen to magnify we introduce a new command now called trim and this will let us chip away the bits of line we don't want so TR return use a implied window from right to left to capture all those lines and return and then pick away the bits you don't want so it's opposite to the filling fillet command this time you pick the bits you don't want with the fillet command you pick the bits you do want well, stay with that command don't finish it just yet use your middle mouse button click and hold it and you can slide the drawing downwards it feels like you're moving the drawing but actually we're the ones that are sliding upwards return twice so that you can reselect the cutters return because you don't want to pick any more cutters and then nibble away carefully with single picks the bits of line you don't want okay click and hold the middle mouse button return twice repick the cutters return again and then go for the bits you don't want hold the middle mouse button slide up return twice reselect your cutters return once because you don't want any more cutters and now click away what you don't need a final escape to stop the command and a double click of the middle mouse button to see the finished article so that takes us to the end of stage one of the drawing stage two will involve nibbling away more at these lines to form the various partitions, door openings, window openings and the likes.